Here are the latest updates about 3i Atlas. New Hubble images from December 12th and December 27th are revealing something scientists did not expect. 3i Atlas is now shooting out two jets, not one, and they are wobbling and shifting in ways that are raising serious questions. As always, I'm here to report the information without bias and you can decide what to believe. You can find the sources in my detailed articles at ufonews.co along with in the description box below. Hey, you follow I'm Christina Gomez and welcome to this episode of UFO News Updates. 3i Atlas made its closest approach to Earth on December 19th, coming within 270 million kilometers of our planet. Now, it did not do any unusual maneuvers, it didn't show any unusual activity, it basically ignored Earth. Now, it is racing away from the sun at over 144,000 miles per hour, heading right towards Jupiter. But in that window of time, we are collecting the most data we've ever gathered on any interstellar visitor. Here, is what geophysicist Stefan Burns mentioned on the Randall Carlson show. I mean, the key thing with 3i Atlas that's really changed our understanding, I think it's still like percolating through, is just how fast it is. That's the key. Uh, that, that could be maybe the fastest object we've yet observed and measured its velocity, right? As far as I know, it is the fastest ever observed mm -hmm. at coming in mm -hmm. at 58 and at perihelion on the 29th about 68 kilometers per second. Now this extreme speed changes everything about its trajectory. When slower objects come in, they have time to bend around significantly. But 3i Atlas is moving so fast that it only experienced a slight deviation of about 16 degrees when it passed the sun. So it's basically like a bullet firing into our solar system. Now, to put that scale into perspective, the carbon dioxide coma surrounding this object expanded to roughly 700,000 kilometers across. Now, that's about the distance from Earth to the moon and approximately half the diameter of the sun itself. This is what Avi Loeb stated on the Dr. Brian Keating show. Take a listen. The interesting point is that it's heading now towards Jupiter. It will get to Jupiter on March 16, 2026, and uh, actually it, it will arrive exactly at the distance, which is called the hill radius, where Jupiter's gravity dominates over the sun's uh, uh, gravitational tide. The latest images from the Hubble Space Telescope showed something pretty remarkable. 3i Atlas is displaying not one, but two distinct jets of material shooting out from its nucleus. Now, Loeb has been tracking this anti-tail since the very beginning. When Hubble took its first image on July 21st, there was already a glow stretching toward the sun. Now, that jet is 10 times longer than it is wide and extends over a million kilometers. That is two two and a half times the distance from Earth to the moon. Normally, comet tails get pushed away from the sun, but here we see the exact opposite, and it has been there for months. How long has the yeah. anti-tail been observed for? It's months now. From the beginning until now, so we see it. Now, um, at the beginning at least, we saw it wobbling around the rotation axis, so the, there are all of these geometric coincidences of the rotation axis being aligned with the direction of the sun, which need not be the case. I mean, you it's a half a percent chance of that happening. Think of it like a lighthouse beam that wobbles as it rotates. And what's strange is that the rotation axis points almost directly at the sun. This rotation axis is in the direction of the sun to within eight degrees. And uh, why would an object coming from interstellar space have its rotation axis aligned with the direction of the sun uh, at large distances? This is really surprising, and it means that the object has a permanent day side and a permanent night side. There's still so much more to cover, so don't go anywhere. Back in late July, observers detected the brightness of 3i Atlas repeating every 16 hours with about 20% variation. Some researchers initially suggested this was because the object is shaped like a football, reflecting different amounts of sunlight as it rotates. But Loeb argues that explanation can't be right. We know from the Hubble images that the brightest pixel containing the nucleus accounts for less than 1% of the total light. You cannot get 20% variations just from that one object rotating, at least 
according to Abby Loeb. Now, you can think of it like a heartbeat because uh, in the case of a heartbeat, you have uh, pulsations of uh, the, the, the bloodstream into the veins and that uh, originates from the, the heart. And in this case, it, you know, the object itself is uh, basically pulsating in the uh, material that it sends into the surrounding plume of gas through the jet. And so it's sort of like a heartbeat that every 16 hours it repeats uh, as far as the observer is concerned. Stefan Burns offered an interesting theory about the evolution of 3i Atlas, and he believes this object was once a short period comet that got heavily thermally processed before being flung out of its original solar system. Now, during this long transit through interstellar space, perhaps billions of years, it accumulated a crust of interstellar material. The, the evolution of 3i Atlas turning from red to green and the, how the elemental kind of composition of its coma changed is indicative that it was really, really heavily enhanced with these materials, at least on the crust, and it's been volatilizing that out. I think that's it why is. it's captured so many people's interest, because instinctively, if there is this fingerprint of some sort of like interstellar cataclysm built into us, because we all experience that, there's going to be a resonance like we want to understand and learn about this and that's why so many people are interested in this because it's connecting to that ancestral past perhaps 3i atlas will pass jupiter at about 53 million kilometers and that distance matches almost exactly where jupiter's gravity takes over from the sun's pool and this is called the hill radius this is also where the lagrange point exists and a lagrange point is a spot in space where the gravity of two objects like the sun and a planet balance out objects placed there can stay in position without drifting away or using too much fuel and we place the James Webb Space Telescope at one of Earth's Lagrange points for that exact reason. So is this a rival distance or a coincidence? Well, we don't know just yet. More recently, methanol was detected at two orders of magnitude higher than hydrogen cyanide, which is a very unusual ratio. Methanol is a building block for prebiotic chemistry, material that was crucial for the origin of life on early Earth. Loeb is hoping for the Webb telescope spectra of the jets in the coming weeks, and if the jet speed is below a few hundred meters per second, it could be due to sublimation of ice pockets. But technological thrusters can produce exhaust speeds of a few kilometers per second or even tens of kilometers per second. This speed measurement would tell us a lot about the origin of these jets. 3i Atlas will remain observable through spring of 2026 before it fades beyond the reach of our telescopes. So right now, we're collecting as much data as possible before that window of spring of 2026 completely closes. I'm Christina Gomez, and that is it for today. I will see you again tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST for another UFO news update. Be safe, and remember, keep your eyes on the skies. Enjoyed today's show hit that like button and if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for hit the notification bell as i do daily ufo news and updates fresh uap stories government disclosures and breaking developments land here every single day